Agricultural Crop Production Exploratory Course for Grade 7 and 8. Agricultural Crop Production Exploratory Course for Grade 7 and 8, Module 3, Part 1. Our topic is Interpret Plants and Drawings, Layout Garden Plots. Design farm plants and layouts according to crop grown. Interpret farm plants and layouts. The Farming for the Future or the FFTF program can help you to plan the best farm layout. A whole farm plan considers the farm's physical, financial, and human or personal resources for both now and the future. Here are the factors to consider in preparing the plan. If your garden site is in sloping hill, the plant should be in a row across the slope to avoid erosion. Number two, in order for the plants to receive the maximum sunlight the whole day, plant the crops in rows from north to south direction. Number three, provide the proper place for soft stem vegetables, bushy vegetables, vine vegetables, and tree vegetables. Number four, separate tall growing plants from low growing plants. Number five, plants that will occupy an area in the garden the whole season should be grouped together. Number six, fast growing or quick maturing plants such as pechai and lettuce should be grouped together. Seven, if your garden space is limited, the long maturing plants can be planted between the early maturing ones so that by the time they are harvested, the long maturing ones will have enough space. Number eight, the rows must be straight. Provide space between the rows to make cultivation easier. Provide a space for the garden house, the tools, seeds, fertilizers, pesticides, insecticides, and other supplies. Number 9. Indicate the location of the fence, well or pump, and drainage or irrigation ditches. Site Assessment An on-site assessment of a farm is necessary so that a map can be drawn of the properties, topography, boundaries, soil, water resources, and so on, and a farm business plan be formulated. Most common garden layout for growing vegetables. First, the vertical growing vegetable gardens. These gardens are designed for the people having a little to no traditional garden space. Rather than planting in your typical garden bed, you take advantage of vertical space growing plants along trellises, hanging baskets, or even upside down. The Black Garden Layout Plan is called the Black Style Garden Layout, also called Close Row or Wide Row Planting. This method increases yield significantly over a traditional row style garden. The bed should be 3 to 4 feet wide and any length desired. This weed makes it easier to reach into the bed to weed, harvest, or replant. Walkways should be minimal, about 18 to 24 inches across. The square foot garden plots are generally set up in grids of 4x4 four four squares with strings or woods attached to the frame to divide the bed into equal square foot sections. One type of vegetable is planted in each section. If vine plants are grown, they're usually placed in the back with trellis to allow the plant to grow up. The traditional four square layout. It is created by straight paths, one leading from garden gate to the front entry of the house and the other crossing it at 90 degrees angle. Raised beds or containers. Again, for those having a little space or even inadequate soil, planting veggies in raised beds or containers is a great alternative. With this layout option, the sky is the limit, as you have the flexibility in moving the garden around and use all available space, including belt vertical areas. 
Single row. The most basic garden plan consists of design with straight, long rows running north to south orientation. Planning the garden plot. Pick a spot that fits the sunlight's needs of your plants. Choose a spot that is level and even. Use raised beds if you're in a colder climate. Go for in-ground beds in a warmer climate and decide how many beds are you going to plant. Mark out the plot. First, get rid of the existing loan. Then remove the weeds and debris. Then mark the plot with string and sticks. In preparing the soil, first you have to test the soil, then dig the plot, add the organic matter to the soil, then turn the soil, then put up barriers around the flat if needed. Row planting arrangement of crops. First is a single row planting arrangement. It is either arranged in equidistant single row or in multiple rows. Planting in single rows is common in monocrop or sole cropping. Example of crops planted in single row arrangement are potatoes, sunflower, dry bean, field pea, flax, soybeans, and sugarcane. Next is the multiple raw planting arrangement. It is a system of growing crops in black or in strips of two or more rows. This planting arrangement is common in multiple cropping in which two or more crops are grown in the same piece of land. The spatial arrangement. It is the systematic apportioning of the farm area or any growing surface per crop production. In multiple cropping by intercropping, the intercrop can be planted in any of the following ways. First, within the rows of the main crops. Second, between the rows of the main crops. And in replacement series, planting of the intercrop between two adjacent hills. Between two adjacent hills within the same row of the main crop allows inter-row cultivation but the intercrop has limited exposure to sunlight. Follow a strict planting system and practices according to approved cultural practices. Follow strictly planting system and practices according to approved cultural practices. One of the objectives of teaching crop production is to provide the students the fundamental knowledge that could help them cope with the life brought by economic difficulties. Time will come when someone chooses to move in rural areas where they could apply their knowledge in agriculture and become a source of additional income for the family. Some think of engaging in a project like raising vegetables in their garden, backyard, or family farm. Types of cropping system are the common practices in planting crops. First is the monocrop. It is the agricultural practice of growing a single crop on the same year and in the absence of rotation. Next is the intercropping. It is common practice of maximizing the use of vacant inter-row spaces when the main crop has not fully developed, thus allowing sufficient light exposure. For example, coffee, cacao, and banana. Relay cropping is essentially a special version of double cropping where the second crop is planted into the first crop before the harvest rather than waiting until harvest as in true double cropping. The crop rotation. Crop rotation is the practice of growing a series of different types of crops in the same area across a sequence of growing season. Methods of planting crops in the farm. There are two methods of planting crops, direct seeding and transplanting. Direct seeding is either by broadcast hill or dibble or by drill method. The hill and drill methods are alternative options in row planting. 
The direct seeding or direct sowing is a method of planting in which seeds are directly planted on the ground, in the farm, or any growing surface. Transplanting Transplanting make use of pre-grown plants, seedlings, or vegetative propagated clones. The term transplanting is also used to refer to the practice of replanting an already established plant in one location and moving it elsewhere. A time to remember. This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.